the okay so today's battle today's battle is between the african lion and the indian gar let's get into this so the african lion lives in africa and it can be able to it can be four feet tall and can be up to nine to ten feet long they can also also they will have to run five five hundred to six hundred fifty no actually they they weigh up to four hundred fifty to five hundred pounds. So the Indian gar on the other hand, they can be up to fourteen freaking feet long, eight to nine feet tall, they can weigh up to one thousand eight hundred pounds. But there are some reports saying they can be up to they can weigh up to one ton. That's fucking huge. Jesus Christ. Okay. But anyway. Yeah, so we can see that this this gar is a lot frick a lot of hell bigger than the freaking the freaking lion, but okay. Okay, so when it comes to, okay, jaws versus horns. This easily goes to the guard's horns. The guard's horns are pretty sharp and they're they're pretty big too. So and the jaws of the lion, you have to go into the danger zone in order to inflict it. But the gar, he doesn't need to worry about it. Unless the lion miraculously somehow dodges it, the attack, the lion, the lion's chance of getting hit is pretty high. Okay, but let's move on to the next weapon. Weapon claws versus hooves. This, those are your secondary weapons. When it comes to claws versus hooves, because the guard can kick or trample his opponents, and the lion can slash his slash and claw at his opponents. This easily goes to the lion's claws. X factors: the lion has a fluffy mane around his neck to protect him from injuries or and to use you know, the intimidation buff. Yeah, remember when in the fight we're using that at their maximum size. Yeah, but okay. Okay, so what was I gonna get? Oh yeah, X factors. Oh yeah, the line can also blend in with his environment. Okay, now let's go to the guard's X factors. The guard is a very big. And he's pretty speedy for his big size. He's also very bu buff and bulky and very tough skin. But, of course, a predator can pierce through it. Yeah, boy, okay. Speed. Okay, let's go into the main steps. Okay, yeah. X Factor goes to um, the Gar. Remember, I'm not biased against any animals, okay? Okay, but anyway. The guard... Okay, speed. Let's go on to the main stats. So when it comes to speed, the guard can run to speed up to 35 to 36 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the African lion, on the other hand, on average can run to speed up to 30 miles... Per, no, 35 miles per hour. But there are some... But at top speed, 50 to 60 miles per hour. So the lion is faster than the gar. Strength is tied, but the slight edge goes to the gar. Brains goes to the lion because they're hunting. They need to be. If they want to hunt and hurt, but they need to be smart about it. So yeah, they're smarter. Aggressiveness goes to the lion and the gar. It's the defense advantage. Because of how freaking bulky it is. You know? Yeah, but anyway. What else? Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's fight. So the lion sees the gar and thinks it's just an oversized cape buffalo. And he, in this particular lion, has hunted cape buffaloes before. So he's not really that all surprised. But this isn't no ordinary cape buffalo. This gar is a lot of a hell bigger than a cape buffalo, in fact. Because cape buffaloes are four feet tall. This guy's a fucking nine foot tall behemoth. So the lion stalks and stalks until he gets close enough and jumps and bites the, the gar's neck. The gar, the gar shakes around and groans. 
But he eventually gets a he eventually gets lucky and kicks the lion. The lion lets go and jumps back. He roars. Lions are are freaking loud AF. This scares the guard, but not really. So he just steps back a bit. But then he he freaking like kicks his hooves. Before charging towards the freaking lion head on. The guard tries to hit the lion, but the lion isn't isn't like he isn't like gonna get killed today, so he, like he dodges it and keeps dodging and dodging. This tires out the guard, which is the lion's like lion's idea. But it wears him out too for the dodging. So they're both kind of wear it out. But the lion slashes at the guard and jumps on his back. The guard this is when he goes sicko mode and he bucks him like a freaking cowboy rodeo. <clears throat> and the lion goes flying fit no the lion goes flying twenty feet in the air before landing on the ground. The lion is broken a few bones, but he's not down for the count yet. The guard charges but misses again. The lion slashes at the guard's throat, but it isn't that much effective. I mean, it is effective, but you know what I'm trying to say. The lion, the lion charges and bites the guard's head, like this area right here. But this is a danger zone, so he lets go. The guard then actually lands a freaking hit on the, the lion. So when he charges, he actually hit the lion. Yeah, that time, this time. The lion gets gored, and the uh, yeah okay. So let me some re re summarize this. The guard charged at the lion. The charge actually hit the lion, and now the go the guard is freaking going him as he's as going and moving, going the lion and moving at the same time. The lion keeps slashing at the. At the guard's face, but it's doing no harm, and he's blinded by freaking rage and adrenaline. The, yeah, the bovine, the freaking bu buff bovine, is blinded by rage and adrenaline. So the guard keeps doing this until he slams the freaking lion into lion into the arena walls. The the crowd goes freaking wild that a freaking oversized cow won against the king in the jungle or the king of the savannah. Because lions don't live in jungles. The lion weakly gets up as the bull, no, as the guard runs up, walks off and prints and jumps a little bit. The lion weakly gets up and roars weakly. The guard looks, looks and charges. No, but he doesn't charge. He just walks over to the lion. The lion roars before getting kicked in the face, which breaks the lion's jaw and neck. So the, the guard has just walked over, kicked his kicked his freaking face, and the impact caused the lion to break his bottom jaw and his freaking neck. The lion st stops moving. The guard. This groans in victory before trying to find a way out of here. The winner is the Indian Guard. Verdict. I think the Indian Guard will win around... Um, around... Sem... No... 75% of the time. The Guard is just a lot more powerful than the... Than the Lion. He... And plus, he's he's a lot more stronger and bigger than your average Cape Buffalo. But who do you think will win a fight between a Cape Buffalo? No, who do you think will win a fight between an African Lion and an Indian Guard? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.